Guys, I've talked with you about this before, but Beverly Hills High School is not an especially wealthy place. I mean, most, they do get a lot in property taxes, but on the other hand, most of the, um, uh, you know, like schools get paid depending on how many students they get. Beverly High, uh, that's not where the wealthy kids go. You know that, right? Wealthy kids in Beverly Hills go to private schools. They don't go to the public school. This is the one public high school, you know? Yeah, they, um, they go to private schools. I've said this before. The only thing about Beverly Hills High School that struck me as especially wealthy, the only thing about it that really like uh, gave me the feeling that I was at like a, a like a really good school was the um, was their pool slash basketball gym. You mean your guys' high school didn't have that? The basketball court that opened and there was a pool underneath it. Well, that's okay. We can't, uh, we can't all be winners. This is the, uh, this is the campus. And their theater? I don't even remember their theater. I guess their theater's cool, yeah. It's this one right here, with the big curved dome. Oh, there's also an oil rig. Look, this over here, do you see this? What we're looking at right now is a drawing overlaid over uh, an actual image. That over there, this thing right here, is an oil rig. It ran through the 1930s, but it went defunct after a while. Not defunct, it went empty after a while. And what they did back in the early 2000s was they did an art project where the students painted on big pieces of paper that got stacked up there. And now it's like this big kind of coral, coral like flower thing. You know, not that wealthy. It, stopped, it went dry decades and decades ago. All the rich kids I used to know were from LA went to Crossroads. Yeah, the wealthy kids don't tend to go. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, here, wait, let me see if I can find a video of that gym. Hold on, wait, really, really quick. Then we'll stop being stunlocked. I'm so sorry. I just like talking to you guys. BHH presents. Oh, yeah, here we go. God damn, that's so cool. There's a whole pool underneath, uh... I mean, it opens and slo clo closes pretty quietly. I'm sorry, not quietly. Pretty slowly, of course, but yeah. You die if you fall in then? Well, obviously, they only, uh, they only uh, allow this to happen when the whole building is, like, locked down and stuff. But did anyone ever open it during a game? To my knowledge, no. They're extremely... Uh... I thought you were joking. Why would I joke about that? Beverly Hills High School is located on 19 and a half acres of what was previously the Auto Speedway. Dedicated in 1927, the Watchtower and Swim Gym are local landmarks. The Swim Gym was the gymnasium at Beverly Hills High School. They decided to design it with a floor that opened up and the swimming pool would be underneath the floor. They shot It's a Wonderful Life here where yep. there was a scene where uh, Jimmy Stewart's dancing with Donna Reed and a couple of guys are jealous and they turn on the switch and the pool opens and of course they fall in it. And it's the only one of its kind that I know of. All the basketball pavilions. Oh, cool, we have the only one. Pavilions had big wooden backboards and a Sax Elliott, who was a uh, co-chair, got the brilliant idea to get thick glass Backboards. Well, I don't care now, about every that. Every basketball court in the country has a see-through type of backboard. I still contend, you know, they were teaching us how to... Dude! Holy shit! Fucking Kessler? What's up, my dude? Have you been, uh... You've been getting promoted a little bit, haven't you? Holy fuck. This guy was my gym slash math teacher back in elementary school. And then he got promoted like 16 times. I think he's on like the fucking school district board now or some shit. He's super cool. He's definitely like a conservative, but he's like a really like honorable dude. 100%. He's a super cool dude. Have a good night, Merrick. Um, I would say like honorable. I think I've said this before, but this guy was my, um, was my gym teacher or, or a PE teacher, they call it. I mean, when you're that young. But um, anyway, I remember one time I got in a fight with another kid and I shoved him on concrete and he actually got scuffed up a bit. And Kessler came over and he was like, all right, listen up. 
I can take this to the principal and your parents get told, or you can run laps around the track until I tell you to stop. And I said, uh, I'll run laps, I guess. And he said, that's the right answer. And holy shit, did I get a workout that day. <laughs> Why'd you fight? I was, I was like fifth grade. It was some stupid, yeah. And then you shoved him too. I mean, he's old now, but back then, I'm pretty sure this dude was like 220 pounds of muscle. So if I shoved him back at that age, I think I just would have flied, flown backwards, you know. Um, no, it was a really cool thing for him to do. You guys, maybe if you're not in America, you don't understand, but most American schools have a zero tolerance policy that started to be enacted after the Columbine shootings, meaning that if you have a propensity for getting into fights at school, it's not just like you get in trouble. The police can be called. You can have permanent records like put on you. There are like serious consequences to it. Um, so his decision to keep that like just run laps rather than... Um, rather than like tell the principal, it was actually one that probably had a significantly positive impact on my, on my, you know, like, uh, on a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I think that was cool. He clearly knew the policy was bullshit, but yeah. I got suspended for the same amount of time as the person who beat me up because zero tolerance. Yep, 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 yep. It's bullshit. It's completely bullshit. Beverly Hills High School virtual campus tour. Oh God, because of COVID? Yeah, I guess that would be necessary. <sighs> hey guys, it's where I spent four years of my life. Why is it so dark? Why is the why is the saturation down? Welcome all Normans. Pa uh, Normans are the name of their like thing. I don't know why it's so dark here, but we have um Wait, did they change this? No, that goes up, and then that leads to Century City, which should be, like, over there. This is the Century City area. So if you take a right here, is that what that looks like from the sky? That's crazy. I guess this is all a lot bigger than it looks. All of these buildings that you see right here are apartment buildings. These over here are, like, large houses. These tiny little houses over here are, like, big houses that, like, wealthier people lived in. No, wait, these are apartments, too. Oh, yeah, dude, this area, right? I was thinking, like, wow, my school was that small, but this thing right here, this space right here, probably houses, like, 20 people. So, it's not, it's just that all the buildings around it aren't single-family development. To join us on a virtual tour of Beverly Hills High School. This was the poor kids' school? All the poor people in Beverly Hills went here for high school, yes, because they couldn't afford the private schools, and it was the only high school. There were plenty of wealthy kids who went here, too, but it was much more diverse. Uh, with regards to class issues, because this is where every non-wealthy person would go for their high school. I, I do chafe a little bit when you guys say poor in quotation marks, because one of my best friends who grew up across from me had a mom who was like a Syrian immigrant who was only there because she could just barely manage to afford the rent with the money that she got being a maid for like local businesses and stuff. And like, I just remember all the like scraping together money that they had to do and like the car they drove and stuff like that. Every town everywhere in the world, almost every, I guess, has poor people who live in it. I wasn't poor, but my friend was, for sure. Just keep that in mind. School. My name is Mark Mead. I'm the principal- Wait, of she wasn't Syrian, she was Christian. Wait, fuck, I forget where she came from. Was it Iraq? There are Christians in Iraq, right? There were Syrian Christians? Maybe. Okay, I, I, I would need to ask. Armenian? Ooh, it might, they might have been Armenian, yeah. They might have been Armenian. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe Armenian. Are you still friends with her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was texting her yesterday. Um, she might come up and visit sometime soon. High school. And with circumstances as they are, we're unable to show off our campus to new students, former students. Wait! Mark Mead. Where do I know you from? Were you also promoted? I know this name from somewhere. Were you my English teacher? Wait, no way. Holy shit. Wait, no way, no way, no way. Mark, Mark Mead, BHHS. Were you my sophomore English teacher or am I hardcore misremembering right now? Yes! Dude! 
This guy was my wrestling coach. He was my English teacher and my wrestling coach. What's up? My All the fucking people I know are in power now. I hope you're doing good and aren't a total asshole. I remember you being super cool. Memory lane here, Lamau. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, no. He looks old now. Oh, I hope he doesn't see this. So, sorry, Mr. Mead. Uh, you, uh... It's just, it's been a while, okay? I would have been, I would have been, uh, it would have been 13 years ago that I did wrestling underneath you. Hey, what was the, I'm so sorry, I always called him Coach Kessler. What was the first name of the Kessler, the former coach that I talked about a second ago? You guys have better memories than me. What was his name? You wrestled? Yeah, not like well. It was Steve Kessler? Okay, wait, hold on. What's his official, like, rank now? Wait! He's, like, speedrunning it. What the fuck? Guys, he's retired. After he became superintendent. He isn't just superintendent. He was. And then he retired from that. You were my fucking gym teacher, dude. Yeah, this was all the way back in 2016. So he must have been brought back from for, for that little documentary video. Wow, so cool, this thing, I have no idea what a guy is, lol. Well, if you weren't fucking sociopathic, you could appreciate my enthusiasm, you freak. God damn. Is, uh... Damn, I gotta visit... I'm dropping by LA for a little bit, for the Jubilee shoot that I'm doing, in, a, in like a week. I gotta drop by. Will you be a celebrity? Kessler can never find out what I do for a job. Oh, did you guys not know? Well, sounds like you're losers. <laughs> God damn. Sorry, just like every fucking person who ever told me to do push-ups is in charge now. You didn't tell them, lol? Didn't I? Well, sounds like you suck. ...able to show off our campus to new students, former students, and to our community, so we'd like to take you on a virtual tour starting right here in the Science and Technology Center. I remember this. They, they finished building this right as I joined high school, the Science and Technology Center. This is where the legendary foot peeing happened. This is where the foot backsplash took place. I remember it fondly. On the fourth floor, right over here, if you enter from the main building over here and take a left, and then take another left into the first restroom, that will be the bathroom. Welcome to the John Cherney Lecture Hall. This or is part of like our that. Science and Technology Center. Shut up, nerd. I can say that now. Thank you for continuing our tour. Dude! Thank you for continuing our tour of Beverly Hills High School. This is the Science and Technology Center, floor two. As you can see, it has bright hallways, some True. excellent seating here near these windows. Uh, I love these window benches, man. Those were so cool. Many times at lunch, you'll see students sitting here eating, also out there. Um, mm. We also have math and... Could you take him in wrestling now? No. You can tell this dude still works out, okay? Just because he's wearing a, a, like a, a slightly baggy dress shirt does not mean you can't tell that this dude still works out. Math and Look science at his neck. classes mainly spread out throughout this building. Our science classes are state of the art. They have working sinks, Bunsen burner extensions, eye wash centers, labs. Why is this school so clean? I mean, this is literally a professionally produced virtual tour video. So I, I imagine they would have cleaned up beforehand, right? I mean. It was often dirty when I was there. Cause... Stations, everything you we. It looks quiet now, but this center right here has got to be one of the most, if not the most, populated, student-friendly area at our school. This is the second floor patio. And here we have rallies, events of various kinds right here. Behind me, we have our student library. Highly when events are happening. I tried it. I particularly, uh, where as many as two or three, at least another 150 students out in. Oh yeah, I always forgot about this. This is the roof patio. They have, they have patios on every floor, like, that, that are exposed to the sky. And this is the roof one. I never ate here, because it was just never in, in the direction that I would go for my class, but... You can seat at least another 150 students out being part of our... And there are thousands of books to choose. Schools that you after school between I got three a and four rainbow PM. flag. Didn't have that when I was there, did you? That's only trendy now, Hello, huh? Welcome to our next stop on our tour. Uh, my name is Drew Stewart. I'm an assistant principal here at the high school, and I'm in charge of operations and student activities. Is this new? In what is this? City of Beverly Hills. Uh, many events that happen on campus, including sporting events, guest speakers. Oh, this is like the media backend stuff.
Okay, okay, wait. This is funny as fuck, okay? These bungalows that we're looking at, that they're passing off as village classrooms, were introduced because they spent the money on the fucking Science and Technology Center rather than investing properly in, like, actual... Like, an actual additional building. These, this is like temporary housing. They're trailer classrooms, exactly. Village classrooms. Oh, they even put little potted palm trees here. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Sell it harder to me. Welcome back and welcome to what we call the village. These Don't even include this in the video, man. There are temporary bungalow classrooms yeah, that have been yeah. here for the last several years, and it has a lot of our history classes. Temporary, classes, it's been more than a decade. Which classes. It also has our Norman Aid Wellness Center, which is well-being here this coming fall all of our home games up there we have our softball fields that we will be uh rebuilding very soon we have our baseball field over here we have our conheim athletic building uh where we have our locker rooms basketball courts and behind that even we have our swim gym so this is where the heart of our athletic program lies and we show it off movies yeah and has serviced our student athletes for many 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 generations the first water polo things that are virtual tour of beverly Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. That's your school? Well, it was a decade ago. Actually, I graduated a decade ago, so. How many students when you're graduating class? I think that like 800 or so would, gra would graduate every year. Did it have actual central heating or did it have the boiler room? It's Los Angeles, you don't need central heating. It's all palm trees and 75 degrees, baby. Why do American schools look so cartoonishly fake? I don't know. It's it's a it's a it's a school, you know. God damn. Are you going to your high school reunion? They canceled. I think I think they canceled the ten year reunion. It already passed by because of COVID and shit. You know. I'd go back there. I want to be like ripped for it though. I have to be like a fucking ripped because I was like a loser in school. Okay, we got to come back there. <laughs> the funny thing is like. I would still be so poor compared to a lot of those guys. <laughs> I, I can't even show up with like the glow up because a lot of these fucking people are just going to inherit 10 times as much money as I'm ever going to make. And I'm still poor relative to them. Sorry. Sorry, folks. That's so sadly true. Yeah. Please say you're the coolest kid in the school. Dude, I literally have autism. I didn't even know what autism was back then. Chill. It's okay. We uh, were the coolest kid in bread tube. Which is easy because bread tubes sucks. So, um, yeah. I dare you to tell them about what you do. I'll do it as long as Kessler never finds out. He'll fucking throttle me. Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't want me to stun lock for another five million years? Are you sure? Because, I mean, if you want to, now that we're on this, you know, oh, what is that? The Santa Monica College virtual tour? Oh, look, it's where I spent two years of my academic life. That's crazy. What are you what are you guys going on about? What's up? Did I ever tell you guys about the school shooting here? That I was at? I don't think there's anything particularly exceptional about Santa Monica Community College. Do we have like administration and records, Dresher Hall, and the ASS building. See student ID card or like pay small. Yeah, this is not as professionally produced. This was just made by like. However, it's large. It's very large. So many floors. Honestly. Yeah, it's just a regular community college. It's a pretty big one though. Did you survive? I did survive. That is true. I did survive that. Wait, do they have one for Humboldt? This is the last one. I've only been to so many schools, guys. Um, were they shooting community while you were there? I have no idea. There were like 40,000 people at the community college. The, yeah, hold on. Uh, Santa Monica Community College uh, 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 student population? What would, what would I say? Attendance? What is the... No, not Southern Maine Community College. Santa Monica. Uh, 27,000 undergrads. 27,500. There we go. 27,500. So with a population that large, I mean, 
uh, they might have been shooting community there. I wouldn't know if, if they if they uh, if they were. Um, would you describe experiencing a school shooting as a bad time, so to speak? No, because I didn't even know what happened until after it was done. Um, it was a, it was a shooting at their library. The library for SMCC is actually pretty pretty good. Um, a guy killed his like mom and then killed his way to the school and then entered the library and killed two people. But I was like, the library is huge, dude. I would have been like way further in. Um, and I only, I, I think I only, I only realized after, um, I, I'm probably, there's definitely like news stories about this. I don't remember the details, but I think I only realized after he'd already, were the people k killed students at the school? Only two of them, I think. Um, oh, there we go. The 2013 Santa Monica shooting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, its catalyst was a domestic dispute, subsequent fire at home, followed by a series shooting near and on the SMC College campus, killed by police officers when he exchanged gunfire with them at the Santa Monica College Library. Yeah, there you go. That's the, that's the gist of it. There was, and maybe still is, a memorial to the, the student who was shot um, uh, uh, right outside the library, I think. Well, they, I think he burned the house down after he shot him. Did I know him? No. No, I didn't know them. I didn't see anything happen. I was nowhere near it. I was, at, I was in the building, but it's a huge building. Um, armed with an AR-15. I didn't remember them having an AR-15. Jesus Christ. Assembled from legally purchased components, though he was legally prohibited from possessing firearms, some of which required machining with a mill. Jesus. Uh... Gruesome violence, college library, fatally shooting another woman immediately outside. That's who has the memorial. Open firing the students inside the library. Witnesses stated they heard gunshots and screams, but were able to hide or escape unarmed. I guess that includes me, but I wasn't a witness and I didn't hear shit, so, yeah. Dropped a duffel bag loaded with magazines, box of ammo, and a 44 caliber revolver. LARP! 44 caliber revolver? LARP! Yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, dude. Fucking John Wayne. Sure, Clint Eastwood. Come on. Yeah, absolutely, man. 44 Magnum revolver for a fucking mass shoot. Yeah, okay, dude. Sure. Ye I'm, a, I'm a cowboy. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Anyway, he died like five minutes after, so. I had a meeting in Santa Monica that day. I remember the 10 was totally jammed for hours afterwards. Yeah, it was impossible to get a bus back home. Um, How'd he die? Cops gunned him down. Uh, placed on lockdown, issued a statement to its Facebook page telling people to stay away from campus. President Barack Obama was in Santa Monica at the time for the fundraiser. <gasps> I forgot about that! That's right! The traffic was double fucked! It wasn't just the shooting, Obama was in town. Every time Obama comes to LA, every person who actually has to fucking live there rolled their eyes because he stuffed traffic up for the entire fucking day. Every single fucking time he came over, they have the run, the motorcade down the one road that diverts traffic and everything goes to a standstill. And LA is already terrible with traffic. It's, you're making it worse, Obama. Thank you. If he actually gave a fuck, he should have boated in to Santa Monica, not fucking driven there. Fuck you. And he was there all the time. He visited like a dozen times. On August 7th, exactly two months after the killing spree, the LA Community College District Board of Trustees adopted a resolution banning firearms on its non-campus areas. Wait. They weren't before? Wait, before August 7th, 2013, you could bring guns onto the LACC area campuses? It effectively ended the conduct of non-credit gun safety courses previously offered. We had gun safety courses offered on our college campuses. So w w students were showing up with like their fucking book bag and it's like, yeah, you know, here's history, here's geography, and here's my fucking nine. God damn. Ma yeah, majoring, majoring in guns. F I offer 44 additional upper receiver for the rifle, black tactical clothing and body armor by his carjacking victim, though it was later determined his tactical vest did not contain any type of armor. Oh my god. I hope I hope he can feel me being embarrassed for him in hell right now. I hope that I hope that somewhere in the fire pit he's like he's like cringing a little. Okay. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Votimus. Obama kept visiting. I'm pretty sure it was to fuck me over specifically. Searching his home, police found replica weapons and illegal zip guns. He was building them? I know that California firearm laws are prohibitive, but... Well, he was admitted before, so he couldn't legally own guns. So he would have had to either buy them illegally or construct them. Yeah, the Lego guns. Um, huh. Can you build guns with a 3D printer? Yeah, guns are pretty easy to build. Guns are uh, fairly simple, construction-wise. They're not reliable, though. Uh, no machine is going to be reliable when dealing with those kinds of internal pressures unless it's machined to a very high degree of specificity. Um, but, uh, but it's possible. Um, watch a tour of your elementary school next. Don't tempt me. I haven't even looked to see if Humboldt has it. Looks like it's a late stream tonight, boys. Do we have a Humboldt State University college tour? Well, we have Humboldt State University videos. Are these like campus tours? Why would you use such a low resolution image? Why would you, what? Oh God, what? Is it that hard to, did you use a camera phone? Oh, so pretty. Shit better not be copyright. Siri, what is this? Why, why are they, why are they filming with this? What the fuck? It's, it's not. I'm a I'm actually gonna get sick. I'm I'm go I'm gonna get sick. This is a is this really from the U.S. College? Is this an official YouTube channel? How did you live in such a low resolution area? <laughs> yeah, it, the Humboldt State University is it's a lot like it's a lot like a national park, you know, where it's like you have to if you want to camp there, you have to get special permission. <laughs> What the fuck? Why? What? This was filmed in 2015, I think. What the, you the, back then? I'm pretty sure phone cameras were better than this. If you had like an iPhone or something. What's what's with this sped up? Why? Okay, that's that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty nice looking. These dorms were super nice. Can I can I please get a real video? not shot by ghosts? What about this? Or something, okay. What, can I... <laughs> Did they change that? Wait, is this post the change? Did they change this? Ah, oh, dude! Someone got offended. Uh-oh. There are a bunch of hippies in Humboldt. This mural? Oh no, never mind! They censored it! There's a lady with titties out here. Uh, this right here. Uh, they censored it, though. Did they censor it digitally, or did they... Okay, it's digitally. I saw it move relative to the scene behind it. Um, I never liked this mural, man. I think it's, like, respectful of local indigenous people or something. But, um... I don't know. It always just looked like something that, a, like, a hippie would paint. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. The, nothing about the iconography really suggests to me that it... I don't know. So loud. Trees. Ah, oh, dude. Like I said, guys, I fell in love with this place the moment I came up here, and it's because, like, the, the campus is buried, like, right now. It's, like, built right up against a redwood-filled national forest. Stop. Okay, look, I'm just gonna say this, okay? I'm just gonna say this, okay? You know how the you know how the best supermarkets and grocery stores in the world have the like the the section where you can get like the fresh to fresh to eat like hot food, like mac and cheese and like chicken tenders and stuff. And when you eat them, like right after you get them, they're like bomb fucking restaurant quality. 
tenders, but for much cheaper, you know? Yeah, Vaughn's, yeah, 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 yeah. There are a lot of places that do that, and it's the best food, okay? This place, the convenience store, okay? Everything in here costs approximately $1 trillion per ounce. But right here, right here on the right days when they had the inventory for it, they sold the best fucking chicken tenders you are gonna get, and they were cheap. For like three or four bucks, you could fill up a plate, and they had a free ranch honey mustard barbecue sauce ketchup dispenser out in the back. You could literally have like a thousand calories of like high protein food seasoned well for like three or four bucks. It was fucking wild. It was fucking so good. And if Vermin was here right now, Vermin would agree. Hold on. Yes, I'm here. I agree. Oh, never mind. Ignore the seven texts I just sent you then. Okay, Vermin's here. Here we go. Oh, also, they had a bullshit fucking policy. Oh, God. I feel like an asshole doing, saying this now. They had a bullshit sustainable policy where they would sell you coffee, but they would not sell you cups with it. So if you wanted to, like, have a coffee with, like, a paper cup or whatever, you're fucked. What they will do is sell you a mason jar for an extra dollar. The idea is to encourage sustainability. They'll sell you a mason jar, which can be reused. And then you can come back with the mason jar and get coffee for like nothing. The problem is the mason jar was only $1. So I would just forget. And I would just come back and buy the mason jar again. And I would just keep doing that over and over and over again. So, so the total number of resources dedicated uh, were, were, were still, uh, you know, qu uh, quite, quite a bit higher. Wash, that's dumb. I'm dumb. I think they just did the mason jar thing so people could, like, stuff their weeds somewhere. How many mason jars do you have? Did I have? I've long since broken them up into glass shards and sewn them in uh, grassy lawns. Like a chad. I never really went to the gym. Oh yeah, the little volleyball court out here. That was nice. Anything else super noteworthy? Let me see. It wasn't like a wealthy... Co the, this, this university did not have much money. Um, legit, Humboldt County is very poor. Uh, it was just like the state system. Oh yeah, wait, this is the place where I did that... Um, that uh, prison vo pr uh, program thing. Hold on. Um, what was, Vermin, what was that program called? It was like prison, criminal justice summit. That's it. The criminal, criminal justice summit. And if I look that up, then I can find a few things, including, uh, where was that photo? Or gore again? Oh, always, always. Where was that, uh, where was that? It would probably be easier to find if I looked up, um, Vertiek. If I looked up, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Why are they all such low resolution? What the fuck is this resolution, dude? Holy shit. Anyway, this was this building. See the same chairs in the background? You can guess which one was me. You can guess which blurry lump of pixels I was, because I'm always wearing a fucking burgundy jacket. Same shirt. No, this was, uh, I don't know what this shirt was. I don't know. Um, anyway, that was fun. I don't know why the picture quality is so bad. This is literally the photo that they used in the Lumberjack article. The fucking local newspaper. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> what is it with this fucking county and the camera qualities that they use? Why, why do they do this? Why do they choose to do that? Alright. Nicely done, team. We did it. 
We spent an hour and a half consecutively talking about something that's meaningful literally only to me. All right. Okay. I won't cuck you guys any harder than I already have. I officially declare this stun lock over. I'll take a look soon, Soul Waffle. It is time for the stun lock to end. <laughs>